We can and we must open schools this fall, full time. It's better for our children's mental and emotional well-being, and we can't afford another year out of the classroom. Every school should be open, and we're giving them the tools to be able to do so safely. President Biden is renewing his push for in-person learning at schools this fall. While children under 12 are still not eligible to get the coronavirus vaccination, according to the White House, nearly 90% of teachers and school staff have received the shot. Joining us now, mental health policy expert and president of Wellbeing Trust, Dr. Benjamin Miller. Dr. Miller, thank you so much for being here this morning. What do you make of the president's renewed push to reopen schools, uh, which comes now, of course, uh, alongside the surge of the Delta variant, raising concerns among parents about their kids who have not been vaccinated and making sure teachers get the shot. Uh, and we also heard the president uh, outline uh, you know, new incentives yesterday to get people vaccinated. Uh, does this push make sense? Can schools, in your estimation, open safely? And how important is it that they do? Well, it's critical that we open schools and we open them safely, but a lot of this comes back to us. I mean, we've seen the vaccination rates continue to be on the rise slowly, but surely we've got to get more folks vaccinated. If we don't do that, this is our role as parents, our role as members of the society. We have to be the ones that step up if we want to take care of our kids. We can't get our kids back to school if the Delta variant continues to run rampant. So the number one thing we have to do is for us to get vaccinated. And I hope everybody hears that. No matter where you are in this country, that's a priority. Number two, we do have to get our kids in the school because it is better for their own mental health. It's better for our mental health, frankly, as a father who's had kids that have run in this hallway right behind me here doing countless number of interviews like this. I can tell you, my kids are better when they're in school. I am a better father when my kids are in school because they are learning, they're able to interact with their peers, and they're able to come home having something that it is beneficial to them. So I think the president's right. We can do this safely, but it comes back to us and our responsibility to ultimately get vaccinated. Yeah, the mental health aspect of this cannot be overstated. And, and speaking of mental health, uh, let's turn to the Olympics and U.S. gymnast Simone Biles. Uh, she, of course, cited her mental health following her unexpected withdrawal from the team finals in Tokyo a couple of days ago. What are your takeaways uh, concerning her decision? What sort of message does this send? What sort of example does it, does it set? Well, Simone Biles reminds us yet again while she's the greatest of all time. On center stage in front of more eyes than any of us could imagine, under such pressure, she highlights the thing that most of us whisper from the sidelines. She highlights the power and the importance of mental health. So I think there's three big takeaways here. Number one, Simone Biles reminds us that our minds and our bodies are connected. While we've known this for centuries, we forget about it all the time. We continue to think that the mind is something that's totally separate from our bodies. And I think she reminds us in a beautiful and eloquent way that they're connected. Number two, she's given us permission yet again to talk about mental health. Here you and I are way too early talking about mental health. This should be a priority for all of us. Uh, never mind that we've been under this lockdown 18 months of COVID and everyone's mental health has been suffering. Let's bring that to every, let's bring that to the attention of everyone and let's continue to talk about it. And number three, we've got to go from awareness to action. It's one thing to talk about it and be comfortable describing what mental health is and is not, but we actually need robust change in this nation to make it easier for people to get access to care. We need our Congress to move on this. Thankfully, they've been paying a lot of attention and I know there's bipartisan support for doing something something on mental health, but we've got to figure out a way to make it easier for people to find the help they need to take care of their own mental health. Yeah, even having these discussions in the media or around the family dining, dining room table, uh, I think certainly really important. Dr. Benjamin Miller, thank you so much. That was really good. Uh, earlier in the show, 